Let me introduce briefly about myself. I am Dr. Vijay Bangale. I am Associate Dean at IS Management College, Mumbai. Let's look at what is this fast-changing environment and the crisis uh, impacting. In what way is this fast-changing environment and crisis impacting? Primarily, it is impacting uh, people in terms of pain, fear, threat, and anxiety. So, what does this do? Uh, what typically it does is people are loss averse. What it means that you hate to lose more than you love to gain. When people are afraid, they typically run away in panic or they cease to perform, losing sight of wider purpose. People will often protect themselves by going into denial. What it means that some people say, Kuch nahi hota, sab kuch ho jayega. and they keep doing the things the way they used to do. Uh, which of course you have to change because this is the time where you cannot work the way you've been working. Like a typical medical representative, you cannot go and meet the doctor in, the, in his chamber. Uh, there are a lot of uh, lockdown situations. Uh, so this isn't happening, so we'll come back to normal is something which the leader has to control and make it sure that, make it clear that this is not the time where you can work in the normal way. You have to change the way you've been working. Uh, rumors, lo rumor loves an information vacuum. What it, what it means that typically in such situation, if there is no communication, then a lot of rumors keep floating around. So that's where the leader's role also becomes of paramount importance. And lastly, the groups can typically either help or hinder the entire situation. So let's come down to, so what are the leader's roles? So what I'm typically doing is run you through the leader's role and this typically, uh, you may be a leader in your territory, like a medical rep, or right up to you may be the leader of the company. Right? So it applies to all uh, situations, of course the degree varies. Uh, so typically when you talk about a crisis situation or a fast changing environment, the first thing that leader has to do is self-management. What, I mean what I mean by this is uh, the leader has to be very calm and optimistic. Uh, while you need to be uh, experiencing the humility, it does not mean helplessness. Acceptance of the situation has to be, however, backed by action. And more importantly, you need to uh, give confidence that the organization will find the way out and will be back on its business, regular business soon. The second most important uh, role of a leader in such a situation is organizing to respond to crisis and therefore need to quickly set up some teams and the teams are basically the rapid problem solving teams. So somebody who is really active and who will be handy in handling uh, critical situations and most important, empower the people down the line. This is a situation where it's not, we do not have time to go up to the top level to get the approval. Right? So. Uh, Typically, it's very important to empower the people down the line to take quick decisions. So, this, this, as this picture says, it's the leader has to be typically like this duck. Always behave like a duck. Keep calm and unruffled, unruffled on the surface, but paddle like hell underwater. So, moving on, the third most important aspect the leader has to look into is uh, the leader has to pause to assess and anticipate and then act. What it means is you cannot jump into an action immediately. Neither you can act on intuition nor you can wait for the data to come and then analyze and then act. So you have to have a balance between whatever data available to you to take decisions. Uh, so waiting for a full set of facts uh, to emerge before determining what to do is a common mistake made by many, many leaders. And therefore it might lead to worsening of the situation. Uh, a crisis involves many unknowns and surprises. So there's a lot of uncertainty. And hence, you may not be able to get the facts, all facts in a given frame of time. Therefore, it's very important to collate whatever data possible, uh, take your calculated risk and take a decision and go ahead. At the same time, not to take a decision in a haste or in a hurry and go by intuition. Fourthly, the leader's role, very, very important role, and I would say an extremely important role in a situation like this, where people are 
in remote places they are not in touch face to face uh, and hence uh, demonstrating empathy is very very important as uh, somebody like a medical representative who is ex- who is very active in the field his day typically starts with doing doctor calls uh, meeting chemists and stockers and now suddenly is confined to house confined to four walls so a leader has to understand and acknowledge the personal and professional professional challenges that the field force is going to go through and uh, most important another aspect is communicating effectively uh, in this case the leader has to maintain transparency and provide frequent updates communication should not stop once the crisis has passed uh, offering a optimistic realistic outlook can help a powerful effect on employees and other stakeholders uh, inspiring them to support the company's recovery so communicating communicating with periodic intervals is extremely extremely important